far you have learned the theoretical foundations of frames and transformations in two-dimensional and three-dimensional spaces. This theory is essential for any kind of motion and navigation in space of robots. However, frames and transformations heavily rely on mathematical theory, which can be difficult to grasp. Fortunately, ROS provides us with a very useful and efficient library called the DF package that embeds all operations related to frames and transformations and makes it easy and straightforward to utilize them. In this section, we will introduce you to the TF package and its important utilities and programming APIs. At the end of this section, you will understand the importance of the TF package, manipulate frames in ROS, perform transformations using the TF package. TF is the most important and fundamental package in ROS for navigation and localization. It contains all utilities and APIs to work with frames and transformations in transparent manner. The TF package performs computation needed for the transformation between frames and allows to define the position of object in space by applying the theory that we presented in the previous lectures. In addition, a robot is defined as a collection of frames attached to its different joints, like its body, its sensors, its actuators, to define the position of each component of the robot with respect to each other. I will explain later how these frames are defined in the TF package. Let us consider the example of a TurtleBot 3 robot like shown in this slide. You can observe that there are several frames attached to the robot. We will illustrate this later in a demo example. The red axis represents the X axis, and the green axis represents the Y axis, and the blue axis represents the Z axis of each component to which the frame is attached. We can observe on the top of the robot that the laser scanner has a frame attached to it and originates at its center. This is another example of a more complex robot, which also follows the same strategy of having a collection of frames attached to each of its joints and components. It does not matter how complex the robot is, frames are defined in all joints and components of the robot to be able to localize every part in the robot in space using transformations between these frames in the same way that we have introduced them in the theoretical foundation part. For example, in this robot, we have frames attached to the cameras of the robot, to its grippers, its wheels, motors, joints of the manipulator, etc. 